Hi, today I'm going to showcase how to invoke custom function in Power BI. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to connect to a web data. So by making use of web. So yeah, let me use, uh, I do have a URL where I want to capture the list of Bollywood films of 2018. So the requirement is like, I do have uh, this particular URL where it loads only top 10 or something like top 10 films in 2018. So instead of going for top 10 of 2018, I want to load top 10 from 2018, top 10, uh, top 10 from 2019, something like that. So you have to check with the fields as well. So instead of going for basic, I do have an option to go for advanced where uh, you can split this particular URL. So this is what one of the advantage in Power BI. So I do have 2018. So just check here the URL preview. You can type in 2018. So you are getting proper URL here. So what I'm going to do is instead of 2018 or a static value. So let me use a parameter here. So let me create a new parameter and uh, I can pass any particular value. Instead of static URL, I can go for a dynamic URL. So let me use the URL name as something like year parameter. And uh, so as I said for the URL, right? So we have a text, so better you can choose text data type, suggested value. I don't have any query or a list or something like that. So let me go for a, a manual selection or a manual typing of this particular value. So let me go for only a couple of years, 2018 and 2019 and the default value you can set uh, any specific value so let me go for 2018 so i'm creating a parameter here instead of going for a static web url so i just make use of uh, a parameter and i can pass that particular parameter values to that web url so click ok and here we are going to use multiple functionalities like parameters and custom columns and uh, we can create a function and we can call that specific function. So I do have this particular data. So we are getting some uh, information here. So let's select on document or this is what uh, the table I'm going to load here. So I do have 10 records and uh, so these are the top 10 films, top 10 Bollywood films uh, in 2018. Select this particular table. Instead of loading, I'm going for transform data. So let's go back to transform data. So basically, uh, whenever you are going to the data from web rights, you might have a lot of options. So uh, this is static. So we, we are not going to get um, any changes in that particular web URL, but uh, you can see I do have a parameter and I do have this particular table. So what I'm going to do is you can create a function to call that specific function. But before going to do that, so I have a parameter and I do have this particular table and I don't have, you can see here, I don't have a specific year column in this table. So whatever the table we have loaded here, right? So the list of Bollywood films, I don't have a year name or I don't have a specific year column to identify. <clears throat> so this is what 2018 date or this is what 2019. So the advantage here is what I'm going to do is select the, select the table and go back to add columns, create a custom column. So whatever the year we have selected, right? I want to pass that specific year into this particular table. So let me use year. So we created a parameter called as year parameter, right? So I'm going to pass that year parameter value here. Not no syntax error. So you can make use of the column name called as year underscore something like custom column or maybe you can identify, okay, this is what the parameter value. Click OK. So now I'm getting uh, 2018 data. So let's go back to year parameter. So now you can pass 2019. So go back to this particular table and just look into the data, whether we are getting the parameter value here or not. Yes, we have that year parameter. So now just right click on this table, right? So you have an option to go for create a function. So we, are ha we have to invoke a function right so we have to invoke that custom function so we have to create a function on this particular table so let me create a function 
and you can give a function name called as let's say top 10 films you can give any naming convention so click ok right so I have created a custom function that is what I created a function on top of this particular table so when you create a function just remember that you are going to get a folder with that specific naming fun convention so you can say top 10 films okay so you can also invoke this specific function let's say year parameter and you can invoke so on top of this but I'm not going to do I'm not going to invoke anything here so or, or just let me showcase that so you can create or create a function and you can invoke on that so you can make use of 2018 data so you are going to get 2018 so this is but this is not my requirement so my requirement is I do have 2018 data and uh, when when you want to load 2019 data again you have to go for uh, a different web URL and you have to specify the naming convention or change that year to 2019 and we have an option here in Power BI where you can perform app inquiries or union to load that particular information but if two years that is fine but if you have 10 years of data right it is not possible to load 10 your web URLs data and uh, uh, again we have to go for app inquiries so that takes a lot of time instead of doing that that's the reason we have created this particular functionality so now I want to create uh, I want to uh, get 2019 and 2018 data straight away like this is what this specific example where I'm choosing only particularly two years so let's go back to this I want to create a table called as year table so let me use enter data you can also make use of generate series and all those options so let me use year column here and because of uh, less data I'm using a static table or uh, I'm using entered data so so let me use year table the only point is whenever you are going to create a table just remember that the data type must be text because we are passing text value to that particular web URL so select this particular data type and change the data type into text so this is very important whenever we are working with uh, some web URLs because it takes uh, most of the cases you can see uh, it takes a text data type so now I do have this particular year table as I said right so we created a function on, on, on top of this highest uh, worldwide or whatever the Bollywood top films right click on this particular year table right so sorry so just select the table and go back to our add columns now you invoke custom function for that particular year table because we created a function on top of this table click on invoke custom function so we created only we created one particular function that is our top 10 films and we have selected year table which means we have only one specific column that is what year so let's click ok so we have a data privacy uh, information requires on data privacy where uh, generally we are connecting to a web URL right so uh, it asks for the like just for a confirmation so just select and click OK so now uh, I do have 2018 related table and 2019 related table so you can click on this or you have an option to go for expand and just wait uh, for a second so that you are going to get all the columns so now select all the columns here so this is what uh, the advantage here so I didn't have uh, loaded a couple of times for this particular web URL so straight away I created a dummy table that is what by making use of uh, enter data table and uh, I call this particular table so by making use of invoke custom function now I do have 2018 year and 2019 year wise top 10 Bollywood films and you can uh, check this particular parameter value as well whether uh, we are getting proper data or not so this is one of the excellent functionality where you can make use of um, make use of parameters make use of some custom columns and you can create a function and invoke that particular custom function to call that specific information to a different table so this is what uh, custom invoke function like invoke custom function uh, in power bi thanks for watching and uh, please do subscribe